Hi, I'm Joe B from KHS America, and I'm here to talk with you today about putting together a clarinet on our Jupiter products. First thing we do is we're going to take our clarinet case and make sure it's on a nice solid surface. Then we're going to undo the latches, making sure that the logo is on the top so that our case is not upside down. When we do that, we're going to open the case. And you're going to see that it's all wrapped up nicely here. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take the bags off and remove some of the packaging corks. So as we remove the packaging, make sure that you're not going to drop the clarinet. Discard the bag. And you notice there are some packing corks in here. You simply have to remove the cork very simply. There's another one over here. And you remove that one as well. And then place it back into the case. And we're going to do that with each of the sections of the clarinets. So again, we're going to remove the bag. Make sure we're not going to drop it. Try to avoid handling the keys as much as possible. If you have a cork right here, we're going to pull that one out and place that one back into the case. The next thing we're going to do is, is remove the bag from the clarinet bell. And also, from the part known as the barrel. I know it's that it's called a barrel because it looks like a barrel. With your clarinet, you're gonna find a tube of cork grease. And with the cork grease, the first thing you have to do is make sure that all of the corks are nicely lubricated. So open it up, it looks like chapstick. Don't use chapstick, make sure it's cork grease. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of cork grease. I like to use my thumbnail put it on there, and then make sure you rub it in nice onto the cork. This will make the parts slide together much better. And then after you do that, hold the bottom end, make sure that the keys are closed, grab your bell, and with a twisting motion, twist it together till it, it meets all together. I'm going to set this one down here on the table while we do the next section. We're going to grease these sections together. This is the top joint of the clarinet. The top joint of the clarinet has two corks, one on the top and one on the bottom. And we have to take extra precautions when we put together the top joint and the lower joint on the clarinet because keys overlap and you need to do it a special way to avoid them bending. So here's where we have to take some great care in putting this together. We've assembled the lower joint with the bell now we're going to take the upper joint and we're going to close this key. We're going to hold it with our hands, which is going to push this key up. As you can see, there's keys that overlap on the clarinet. You can't twist them all the way without bending the keys. So be very careful when you place them together. The holes should be fairly lined up and with a slight twisting motion, twist, push together while holding that key down. And you'll see over here, once it's lined up, you can let the key down. Now it's safely in alignment. We've already greased the top section. So the barrel has a smaller side and a bigger side. The bigger side goes on top. So the same thing, hold it at the top right where you do it and again with a twisting motion push it together. And one thing you should always remember to do is never stand your clarinet up on a table like this because it could get knocked over. If you need to put it down make sure it's resting down flat. The last piece that we need to do is your mouthpiece. And this also has a cork which needs to be greased. So we're going to take our cork grease at that point. We're going to put some cork grease on here. Again, work it into the cork nicely. And again, holding, the, holding it safely, hold the barrel and twist it together. This is called your ligature and your register key points up towards the ligature when you have it in the proper position. And then you've assembled your clarinet. And then for taking it apart, we, we do, we do the, the exact opposite, to put it back in the case. I always like to start with the bell first. So again, twist it off, place that safely in the case. Again, hold this key closed. Do not spin the keys so that they bend. Gently twist. The bottom goes towards the back of the case. And you see there's only one way that it goes in. Again, with the top section, comes apart. And you can see the 
in the case how the pieces line up for that one. And then lastly, you're going to take the barrel off. The barrel goes in its spot. And then the mouthpiece finally goes into the case. Make sure you, you cover your cork crease and that goes on the side. You can keep that in there for if, if your joints ever feel a little bit tight going together, don't be afraid to use a little bit more cork crease. Uh, and then after you do that, you should always remember, don't put a book in here. Don't put anything inside your case ever. Once you have your clarinet safely together, uh, put, put away I should say, Close your case, make sure it's latched, and the latches are good, and then you're, you can safely pick up your clarinet to take it home to practice. Next we're going to show you how to put the reed on your mouthpiece. So when you have your mouthpiece, it has a cap, you're going to take your cap off. I'm going to set this down for a second. You're going to get your reed, which comes in this handy little container, and always handle your reed from the bottom. It will slide out of the plastic. The tip is very thin, you don't want it to break, so never handle it by the top. And normally you would soak this while you're, you're preparing. So you take your mouthpiece, you're gonna slide your ligature up just a little bit. You're going to turn the ligature screws counterclockwise to loosen it. And that will give you room so that you can get your reed, again, handling from the bottom end, don't touch the tip. You can slide that onto the mouthpiece, slide the ligature down, make sure that the sides are lined up, and then to adjust the position, you're going to slightly press on the center of the reed to see where the tip of the reed lies against the mouthpiece. Your teacher will show you the exact amount that you need. Once it's in position, then you're going to tighten the top ligature screw clockwise and the bottom ligature screw clockwise so it has a nice firm and the reed will not move after that. And then you're ready to play. When you're done, you're going to reverse the procedure. You're going to loosen your ligature screws, turning them counterclockwise. Slightly push your ligature up. Push the reed up so you can grab it from the bottom end. Again, being very careful of the tip. You're going to take your plastic container or whatever container you have for your reed. Very carefully slide it back in. Put that back in your case. Take your cap, put it back on your mouthpiece. That goes in the case. And then you're all set.